G'day, today we're gonna to look at using the Rode Wireless Pro as the timecode master for a Sony FX6. Just a quick note, if you haven't already selected the options you want to be displayed in that menu, you'll need to go into the Rode Central app first and enable those toggles so that they show up. First of all, what you need to do is change the RX unit over to the timecode mode. So you hold down the bottom two buttons um, from the home screen. So you hold those down, come across, press down until you get to your desired timecode setting. Press set, which is the right hand button. Um, it'll come back to the home screen. And then what you need to do is press the right side button again until you show up the time code. So also in the app, you would have set your frame rate as well. The FX6 um, has a BNC um, port, so you'll need your uh, cable BNC to 3.5. Uh, this one's a Deity one. You'll need to make sure your time code's turned on in your FX6. Uh, so to do that, go into the menu. So hold down your menu setting, um, scroll down to TC Media, so time code and media, uh, press enter, go down to time code. Uh, you'll want preset, free run, um, selected. Um, and just for giggles, I'll reset um, everything back to zero, just so we can see it work um, once it's on. Uh, so we'll hop out of there. If you're using um, a device, an external monitor via um, SDI, then the time code should just come straight through. Um, that way, um, but if you are using HDMI, you might just need to enable uh, that setting in here. So um, just check out whichever one you've got on your particular device. Um, so we just hold down menu to get back out of there. So you'll see that the time code's currently showing what we just reset it from, so 41 seconds, 42. Once you've got your time code enabled on the FX6, uh, it's time to plug in the, uh, the Wireless Pro. What we'll do first is you just need to make sure that on your FX6, um, the little button down the side here for time code is set to the up position, which is the time code in. Um, and then you pop your SDI cable in like that uh, and then plug in your 3.5 end okay so we're going to see now that's jammed in which is great so now we've got 14 25 10 14 25 11 12 uh, and it's also come across through the SDI um, output of the camera um, up to the Atomos. Now that you've done that, you can actually unplug it and that'll stay jammed. You would want to um, kind of recheck and resync and rejam uh, probably every three to four hours just for um, safety. Once you've jammed the FX6 uh, to timecode, you can then change your RX unit back to um, the mode you want to use to monitor the audio and record to your camera. Um, so to do that, you'll first need to press the right hand button back to the home screen then press the bottom two buttons together and then scroll through to which ones you want. I use split. And then now we can, um, with the RX, uh, with the TX units turned on, that'll then show up um, and be able to monitor and record audio to the camera. Also, if anyone's interested with the fact that you unplug the units after jamming, um, you can turn the camera off and on um, and these units off and on uh, and it'll stay in its free run mode um, uh, but obviously noting that you do need to rejam every three to four hours um, this way just to make sure that there's no drift so I'll just turn off the Sony okay I'll turn it back on So 44, 45, 46, so it stayed uh, together. So that's as simple as it is to use the Rode Wireless Go on the FX6 uh, as a timecode master. Enjoy.